Hi, my name's Trudy Tapscott, and uh, I think if you're interested in modeling, the first thing that you, you know is that models are tall and skinny. So the first question is, how tall and how skinny do I have to be? And the answer is, you know, depending upon the type of modeling that you're doing, height is important, and being skinny, in good shape, and healthy are important. Um, you know, no one in the business um, that is a legitimate agent is gonna tell you to starve yourself, but if you photographically on film um, don't look good, then that's something that needs to be talked about. Maybe you need to lose five pounds, maybe you're retaining salt, maybe you're, you know, so, but really it goes by measurement more than weight because it's a fit issue. So you have to be able to fit the clothes. So if you're not in the size that you can fit into the clothes, then the designer can't hire you because there's only one, it's not like you go to the department store and there's all sizes, there's one size and there's one look. They're trying to sell that look to all the buyers all around the world so that they can produce it. So that's why the fashion show is six months in advance. They need to know what's gonna sell, what's of interest, so people, what they like. So you have to, that's been created and designed and it's a certain size. Height is, you know, the clothes, the, the length of a model, the proportion of a model is what a designer is looking for, what a casting director is looking for, so height is important. If you're talking about shows, the reason it's important is because everyone's in a line. There's other people involved, it's not just you. So they, they kind of, you know, even though there are exceptions to the rule and not everybody, you know, if you can be anywhere from five, nine to six feet, that's, that's a pretty big variation, but you're still tall. That's still taller than the average person, um, at least in America, that's taller than the average person. So, the, you know, modeling is not the average. You're not supposed to be average. You're supposed to be um, something that people look at and sort of a fantasy of, of what beauty is. So you have to be thin and you have to be tall. Those are, those are the things that matter in the business. Um, but you also have to be healthy. You know, you could be a, 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 a tall, thin girl, but there are thin people that look too thin. And I think that, you know, you, you have to be able to, you're, some people, their body is naturally thin. If your body is not naturally thin, you can't starve yourself to be that skinny person. It all goes back to what type of model are you? Because if you are someone who's gonna model athletic clothes, then you don't wanna be as skinny as a model who's modeling fashion. So, because you don't look necessarily athletic. Um, so, you know, I think that, you know, there's two things that are not true about models when it comes to um, weight and that is that they, um, that they don't eat and they starve themselves. I think that they limit their intake when it's before a, a fashion show season. I think during show season, they don't, they're so busy, they don't have a lot of time to eat, so they get thinner, but when they're shooting pictures, you, nobody wants to see someone who, you know, you can see their bones when they're, when they're shooting lingerie or bathing suits. So it's about being a healthy, tall, thin, beautiful woman. Thank you.